Hello and welcome back. My name is Sean Connors and this is the Outsiders channel. And we're going to be continuing off where we left off in the last video, which was we talked about in the first video, a quick overview of my initial thoughts on the DCC RPG that came out just a few days ago. Now, of course, we're going to look at the theme and tone of the game. And the best way to do that really is to look at page 10 on the DCC RPG book. And for those that don't have it, I'm going to read it verbatim because I think it's critical to understanding exactly that, what this book and what this RPG is all about. So let's do that. Abandon all pre presumptions, ye who enter here. Turn the pages of this tomb, only should you meet these qualifications. That you are a fancy enthusiast and imaginative mind, familiar with the customs of role-playing, understanding the history and significance of the old gods Gygax, Anison and their cohorts Bledsor, Holmes, Kuntz, Moldvay, Menza, and knowledgeable of the role of judge and the practice of adventure. That you are in possession of the implements for role-playing, namely graph paper, an assortment of polyhedrons including, but not limited to, D4, D6, D8, D10, D12 and D20. That you know the works of the great mage Zoki and are prepared to exercise D3, D5, D7, D14, D16, D30, sorry, D24, D30, or percentile dice, should they need to be deployed. And although you may possess metal figures and erasable erase, mats for purpose of his enjoyment, you understand that the role as optional visualisers, are not prerequisites. That you understand and appreciate certain visual hieroglyphics derived from denizens of the higher planes, who, whose def defect identifies among mortals are rendered in the common tongue, Otis, Easley, Rosloff, Holloway, Caldwell and D. And that you should be appreciative of a life of fantastic adventure and escapades, and acknowledge that a dungeon crawl facilitates the judging of a game focused thereon, but in no way excludes border adventures in the wilderness, at court, at the sea, in air, or outer plains. That you apprehend the fancy pandect recorded in Appendix Ends with reference and delight, acknowledging its, its defining place in creating this hobby. That you are prepared to pledge with right hand upon your little white books that you should uphold the honour of the hobby of role-playing to all comers, whether young or old. If these conditions are not met, then replace this book upon the shelf on which it belongs, and flee with great clarity, clarity for a bane befalls the heretical beholder of what which lies herein. Should you meet these qualifications, beware that you are indoctrinated into the order of Dungeon Crawl Classics, and will find kind fellows of similar sentiment also within this order. You may proceed in good health. 